What's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Adrian and today I'm playing He Never Left. I'm pretty sure this is him and I'm pretty sure he's not going to leave, but I'm going to try to make it. Here I am. Can I just leave? <laughs> I literally just fired up the game and I already want to leave. Ooh, I can run. Okay. All right. I see you. I like running in games. I, you know what else I like? I like being able to see. This is, it's impossible for me to see right now, dude. You, oh, okay, thank you. Oh my God. That was really messing with my eyes, man. Three bell, beds, bell? What? I don't know, man. I just tried to play like four different games and record it and none of it worked out. And I'm a little bit frustrated. So I'm glad I found this one. Thank you, Tootie Pie. What is going on with all this furniture? Jumbled up in the same, oh. Do I really need to open all of these? Are you kidding me? I'm worried that if I don't, I'm going to miss a key or something. You know what? I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to keep going. And some wardrobes. These are openable as well. Are the couches that I saw openable and the beds? All right, you know what? It's fine. Whatever. Oh, seems like it's locked. I'm going to need a password, aren't I? So I think I have an idea of what I could do. Maybe there's a password in each one of these. No, I was thinking there might be a number in each one, but I think I'm wrong. All right, I opened every single one of these and I didn't find anything. There's gotta be something, dude. Th this has to have something to do with this furniture here because there's no numbers. It's confusing the hell out of me. Three beds. Maybe that's it. Ah, uh, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this has to be it, dude. Three, six, one, two, three, four, five. Three, six, five. One, two, three, four, five. Three, six, five, five. That's gotta be it, man. That has to be. Six. Oh, look at me. Open. My eyes. I've stepped into the light. I'm out. I'm here now. What? Oh. Okay, I don't appreciate the noise that I just heard. Pick up no. First day at kindergarten. A wave of freezing air hits my face as I walked into the building. The word kindergarten was smeared over every wall like an advertisement. My newfound peers were running around like maniacs, attaching like leeches to the teachers. At lunch, I went to play in the small green courtyard outside. No one decided to join me out here, continuing to suck the happiness from the teachers. That was all until a shadowy figure approached me. Hey, the shadowy figure mutters shyly. Hello, I reply quickly. What are you doing? Not much, I say while throwing a ball in the air. Do you want to play something together? He asks with a tone of excitement. Sure, I stated as I threw a ball softly at the figure. Although instead of catching it, it seemed to pass through his fumbling hands. You know, for a kindergartner, you have a pretty wide vocabulary. Not gonna lie, unless this was written in the future. So what now? Why is everything full of fog? A Rubik's Cube? A burger? <laughs> of all things to just have chill in there, you have a burger? Okay. Ow. Yeah, here I go. Back into the white, bright light of death. I'm just going to fall. You know, that would have been a little scary if I could see it better. <laughs> a pizza on the bed. Dude, what is this? What is going on with the food situation? Okay, here I go. Uh, here I don't go. I'm trapped now. Do I walk back? Am I going to get jump scared if I do? So we got another bedroom here. What is that? Mysterious hole. Can't make heads or tails of it. Again, it's so dark, dude. Oh, blue. Blue is a good color, isn't it? Okay. Here's another note. Where'd he go? The fresh air conditioning hit my face once again as I walked through the main doors. It's still freezing, I muttered to myself. Although it was usually freezing, something felt off. I wasn't welcomed by my new friend today. Yet all of my other peers were here and were better behaved. He was just gone. Huh, he must be sick, I thought. The days went by, but he never came to the kindergarten. I started worrying, but I stopped thinking after a few weeks. I stopped thinking. I do that every day. <sighs> after a few months, I finally saw him again. I was so confused. Hey, where have you been? I said, what do you mean? I was always here, he replied. I don't understand. I didn't see you for months. Hey, just forget this. I'll never leave you again, he said while staring in my eyes. I started feeling suspicious. Something didn't feel right. How could this be possible? How could he disappear for so many months? 
and then just come back like this? That I will never know. I don't know if anyone will ever know, but it's very cryptic. And there's another dead end. So I guess I gotta walk back into the absolute pitch black. Oh, is it better lit? Maybe, potentially. What now? Do I go back to the red? Is it gonna allow me? Oh yeah, it opened up a new way. This wasn't here before. I'm nervous though. Oh, no need. What is the deal with this dude? Okay, turning around, going back. Ooh, ooh, and it changed. It changed. Oh, I remember this from this dev's last game that everything just kind of changed. One bed. What? Another bright white light? We have another note. What could this? He returns. What is he doing here? I think to myself. He came back again. I walked up to the shadowy figure once more. Hey, where have you been? You said you will never leave me again, I asked, worried. He stared at me emotionless. I... I'm sorry, he replied in a sad tone. I don't understand. How do you keep this appearing? Are you even real? What has happened? And I was saying before he just vanished in front of me. I tried to read it so that it would kind of fit the narrative, but I kind of messed it up. I apologize for that. I am leaving back out into the white and we're back here again. And now there's a bur <laughs> another burger on a washing machine next to the toilet. That's just grand. Oh, what? are you doing i'm out of here man i'm not a fan of that that was not cool let me out there's just an egg dude what is with the food the random food everywhere <laughs> this i can understand because it's on the skillet but why okay all right this is actually kind of nice you're presenting me with the food on a plate in the fashion most de desired what did you say i'm just gonna read this shut the hell up me am i crazy i think so after what i just whatever i enter my office like every day in the past two years this job got so boring i say to myself i was really sleepy from last night only managed to get five hours of sleep i was sitting in my office when i fell asleep in my sleep i saw a shadowy figure he turned back and stared at me in a few seconds i realized it was him i ran to him and shouted why did you leave again who are you what do you want i have to know now I said in an angry tone that I didn't actually read out in an angry tone because I didn't know it was in an angry tone until I read that it was in an angry tone. I never left. I was always here. I'm just a friend. I want to stay with you, he said, staring at me emotionless. What do you mean you never left? Stop playing with me. Am I going crazy? You're not even real. Leave me alone. I did indeed never leave. I was living inside you all this time. I am real. I am. Inside me? How could you have been living inside? But he vanished again. Well, I'm possessed. I got a demon in me. I'm going back out. And we arrive here at the exit. I don't think it's an exit, my dude. I think I'm going to turn around and get jump scared real quick. Am I? Maybe not. Maybe I'm good. It's a long hallway, though. There, it's prime jump scare territory. Oh, no. Another note. Okay. Okay. Is this the conclusion? The truth. A few years passed without seeing him again. I got fired from my job. I'm now living in a small apartment with no money and I am in financial debt. I feel sick every day. I feel like I lose control of my body sometimes. I can't even think straight. Hello, friend, I hear while laying on the couch. I jump up and see him. What is happening? Tell me now, I replied angry. I told you, I'm living inside you. I consumed all your power. I was all this time with you, friend, he replied with a devilish tone and a crack in his voice. No, this is not happening. I'm crazy, I say to myself. Stop talking to yourself. You are not crazy. Maybe I am. Demons are usually crazy. Do you want to see the real me? He replied with an evil smile. What do you mean, the real you? I replied, trembling. He started turning into a giant creature with two big red eyes and a deformed body. He looked horrifying. I stayed there in fear. Well, I think this is the end, my friend, he replied with a deep, diabolic voice. What is this? What are you doing? Stop! Where am I? I am in hell. I'm going back to get jump scared one more time. It's gonna happen, dude. I know it's coming. No. Another jump scare hallway. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Never mind. Oh. Uh, he never leaves. 
So he's always with me then. Not too shabby. While it is incredibly bare bones, I think the story really shines through here. I think the story was fairly well written and I mean, not an entirely unique concept, but I think the execution of that concept was done very well. This was definitely a bit more story heavy than the other games that I've played by this dev, but I'm not gonna complain about that. I did enjoy this. Anyway, if you guys wanna try this out for yourselves, as usual, be sure to leave the link down below in the description. Otherwise, that's gonna be it for me. Thanks everyone so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate every last one of you for coming to this channel, taking the time out of your day to show me some support. It means the world to me and you all mean the world to me. And I just, I'm so happy to be here and have you all by my side, so thank you. If you did happen to enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Don't be afraid to leave me a comment, let me know how you feel. Smack that subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take it easy.